What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we are diving into the Master League Premier Cup Classic as it is back in Pokemon Go Battle League. As you guys can see over there, we are using Togekiss, Swampert, and Conkeldur, a very strong team that you guys can use in this meta. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, getting into the first battle. Now, Togekiss does well against this whole meta outside of the steals like Excadrill here, and we're going to be utilizing Conkeldur as our safe swap to draw out um, anything that could potentially kill counter a Swampert. I'm hoping for something like Dragonite, maybe Togekiss, something like that to come out from the back. But we do see them bring out a Metagross, so they already have two Steel-type Pokemon. Metagross, though, having that Psychic typing does well against Fighters because it only takes neutral damage, but we do pull out a Shield here with Dynamic Punch, which is always great. So we got ourselves Shield Advantage, which is always the play with Conkeldur Safe Swap. Stone Edge going to be getting a Shield from Flyers, and obviously Dynamic Punch got a Shield there from Metagross. So we're going to to have to come in with Swampert now. Swampert does so well against this meta as long as you can keep it away from dragons basically. So we're going to go ahead and shield the Meteor Mash. I wanted to make sure it wasn't an Earthquake. That's the move I'm looking out for as Meteor Mash is resisted. So we're going to go ahead and no shield this next one. Overload a bit on energy and go ahead and throw the Hydro Cannon here. Swampert's energy management is very key here in the Mash League, just like every other league. So we're going to go ahead and throw the Hydro Cannon. We get a shield though, which is very interesting. And they did, then they decide to swap to Snorlax. So I'm going to go ahead and build up to two Hydro Cannons and then swap into Togekiss. They gave me a huge win condition right here considering I would probably have to have um, Togekiss face off against Excadrill but having them swap in Snorlax there um, just gave me a, a big win condition so we're just going to go ahead and no shield all the way my win condition now is with Swampert um, with a shield and two Hydro Cannons to close this game out because we can get to the Flamethrower in time. This is going to get Snorlax extremely low. I don't think it's going to be enough to take it out. Yeah, it barely holds on. We'll be able to get off one more charm here before they throw the Body Slam. This is perfectly fine. This is why Swampert can potentially sweep teams if they don't play it correctly or if you align it correctly. We're going to go ahead and farm down and just double Hydro Cannon right here. Excadrill takes super effective damage from it and it's kind of glad Glassy Hydro Cannon, you guys know how much damage it does. Boom! One shots the Excadrill, and then Sw uh, Metagross is going to go ahead and come back in. And we'll take that out nicely. So this is what Swampert can do. It's very strong. It definitely has a lot of play on this meta because of all the steals. That's the whole point. And you can run with Sludge Wave if you want to, to maybe one-shot or near one-shot Togekiss um, or hit neutral damage against Dragonite. But we do have a Garchomp now in the lead. Very positive matchup for us. And we have a Florigus come in, which is very interesting. Florigus, though, probably running double Fairy Charge moves. Um, disarming Voice and Moonblast, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be Disarming Voice. So we're going to stay in here with Togekiss. I really can't come in with anything else. I mean, I could come in with Swampert and go for Hydro Cannons, but those Vine Whips really add up. So we're going to stay in with Togekiss, and I will give up a shield here with a Garchomp on the lead. Swampert and Conkeldur can do well against it later on. So we're just going to go ahead and play to that and make sure we get ourselves Switch Advantage so I can keep Togekiss away from any steals. So we're going to go ahead and farm down. We have loaded energy. We'll have to see what they decide to bring back in. And they are going to go ahead and bring in... Let's see. I think it's going to be Togekiss. Yeah, they decide to bring in Togekiss right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go for an Ancient Power. And then I'm going to be swapping into my Swampert. Ancient Power here does get the shield. We're going to go into the Swampert. This is where Sludge Wave could help out. Um, but I just decided to go straight for Hydro Cannons. I should, in theory, be building up to the potential slug, Sludge Wave to threaten right there. So that's a misplay on my end. But ultimately, these Hydro Cannons are going to do enough damage where if they decide to shield and risk it, uh, they're not going to get the Biscuit. So we're going to go ahead and <laughs> throw this next Hydro Cannon. This Togekiss is low enough now where I feel a bit safer with Conkeldur to come in against it. I'm also going to give up no shield right here as Ancient Power is going to be resisted. And I'm hoping I can get to one more Hydro Cannon in time. And I do. This is critical because if this takes out the Togekiss, we are looking smooth sailing. And we get a shield instead, which is fine by me. Now, my own Togekiss cannot come into this matchup. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to farm down with Conkeldur. This is going to be a tough order, but I'm going to get so much energy from this. It's going to be okay. I'm also going to no shield as well. This is super risky, but it is just going to be the Ancient Power, which we resist. And they decide to swap into Garchomp there. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Dynamic Punch. Now, this Garchomp, I believe, has Mudshot as the fast move. 
Um, yeah, it does have Mud Shot, which means it's going to be resisted by the flying typing there on Togekiss. So what I'm going to look to do is swap into Togekiss and Charm Down. So we do stop the Earth Power. That's actually pretty huge. I'm going to build up to Stone Edge and now swap to Charm Down. But they actually fast move me down, which is very unfortunate. But I can come back in with Kinkelder. And now I can throw the Stone Edge here to take out the Togekiss. So... It could have gone one of two ways. I think Kinkelder would have held on against Togekiss farming down with counter. It would have been close, but I would have had a ton of energy. Um, but either way, good game. All right, moving into the next one. <clears throat> we have Togekiss versus Metagross. This is obviously a bad matchup. We're going to go ahead and go straight into our Kinkelder here as our safe swap, and we do draw out a Dragonite. This is the exact situation that I want if I lose lead. I want to draw out that Pokemon that can do very well against Swampert, while uh, being able to apply shield pressure. That's what's amazing about safe swaps. And that's why I can Kelder here in the Master League. Master League Premier Cup Classic is a great safe swap. So we throw the Stone Edge. We do get a shield. Had they no shielded that, we definitely would have taken Switch right here. Um, and they're going to go ahead and farm us down. Now, I can come in with Togekiss. And I'm going to look to trust in Swampert with two shields. They could potentially have two dragons in the back with a Metagross lead. But at least the other dragons are likely either going to be Garchomp or Haxorus. Both of which Swampert can do well against. It just can't do well against Dragonite because we aren't running... Um, sludge wave now they do land the hurricane there that was kind of expected but i didn't want to give up any shields so we're going to go ahead and now swap out into swampert and in fact we see a snorlax come out here so snorlax and metagross is something that swampert can potentially handle here so we're going to go ahead and shield the body slams they do quite a bit of neutral damage now in hindsight i think i should have gone for an earthquake here knowing they would likely no shield it earthquake does more damage um to you know just land the move and then go for hydro cannons but ultimately at this point we just need to spam as many hydro cannons as possible and hope we get shields right here now we take almost take it out we're going to go ahead and go for one more hydro cannon but they do get to the charge move so i'm going to go ahead and shield again this is going to be close we're going to go ahead and look to farm down but i see my switch clock coming back up so i'm going to go ahead and swap into togekiss and charm down but we actually catch the body slam this is good too because now the energy is gone on Snorlax. It's going to be up to my Swampert to take this one out. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the double Earthquake right here. Considering I'm at max energy, we get a shield. And now I'm hoping I can get to the next Earthquake in time. And we get to it, but it's a CMP tie and we lose it. So that is so unfortunate in hindsight. Could I have gone for a Hydro Cannon Shield Bait and then an Earthquake? Sure. But if they no shielded it, that's a huge win con for them. Good game. But we had it. CMP tie, we had it right there. But uh, good game. All right, so we got Togekiss now versus Garchomp. Again, another positive lead right here. Most likely going to be double steal on the back. That's what we typically see. But instead, we see a Mamoswine, which Kinkelder can handle very easily. We're just going to go ahead and fully counter down right here. We will give up a shield on our end um, because giving up shield advantage while maintaining energy advantage is huge. They decided to go for the Bulldoze, which I thought was an interesting choice. Maybe they were running Ancient Power, not Avalanche. But we will likely see Garchomp come back in now. And this is why just giving up that one shield, fully farming down, not throwing energy because we will get a shield on this back end. As you can see, Kinkelder does well against Garchomp right here with that neutral damage. And this will definitely take it out. The smirk from Kinkelder as well is so funny to watch. So we're going to go ahead and throw that dynamic punch. We do get the shield and they can't farm us down as well. They have to throw energy. That's what's so beautiful about some of these situations when you see, if you win lead and you see a Snorlax safe swap or you see a Mamasine safe swap, um, so we're just going to go ahead and come right in with the uh, Swampert here versus Metagross as they did a fast swap there. So we're just going to go ahead and give up. I believe I decided to give up a shield here. Yeah, I decided to give up shield. It was just a Meteor Mash. We're just going to go ahead and go for Hydro Cannons at this point. I should be able to get to three um, before they get to an Earthquake. So this Hydro Cannon, no shielded. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and throw another one. Two should be enough to take it out, which is why I said getting to three, I think, is ideal for me. As they will eventually shield one of these, they do decide to shield that one. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and get to another one in time. But they see MP tie, and I'm just like, there's no way that's Earthquake. There is no way... No, it's just a Meteor Mash. That is fine. We hang on right there, and we're able to get to the Hydro Cannon to take out the Metagross. Garchomp is still alive, but we have a full health Togekiss, so we will just swap that right in, and that is going to be a good game to my opponent. All right, moving into the next battle. We have Togekiss on the lead versus Togekiss. Okay, Mirror Fight right here. Theirs is a best buddy. 
Um, as you can see with the ribbon, so I'm guessing it's going to have higher attack than me. I do have a 15 attack. Also notice the IVs on my Pokemon. None of them are hundos. But I prioritize trying my best to have 15 attack on all of them. If I'm going to have a stat that's lower, I might as well go for the HP. So we do get um, a shield right there with Ancient Power, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I'm going to come in with Swampert um, to take a little bit of damage and throw that Hydro Cannon. That way I can get rid of Toekiss without having to give up a shield and maintain shield advantage for Swampert and Kinkelder. So we're just going to go ahead and go for a Hydro Cannon now. Made sure I did one over. I took a little bit of extra damage, but if we end up, if I end up needing that extra energy, I'd rather have it now. So let's see what they decide to come in with. It is going to be a Haxorus here. So this is where Swampert can do so well. Remember, we're, they only have one shield left. So we will just go ahead and throw the Earthquake. I'm perfectly fine if this gets shielded. But if it lands, oh, boom, it's beautiful. We're going to go ahead and swap into Kinkelder as well. And they threw that pretty quick. I'm going to guess it's Night Slash. And it was. That is going to be resisted right there. And they're going to swap into a Snorlax. And this is not looking good for my opponent. As Conkelder here with counter and two shields is going to be taking this one very easily. So good decision on my end um, to read Toekiss lead and probably stuff in the back that might be weak to either Conkelder or Swampert or both. And it ended up paying off for us. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go for the dynamic punch and then go for another one right here. They do get to the charge move, but that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and shield as Haxorus is out of energy, um, which I don't really need to worry about. So we'll throw this last dynamic punch, take out the Snorlax, and then counter down Haxorus. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played to my opponent right there. Okay, I believe, uh, I think we got one more, maybe one or two more. All right, moving to the next battle. We have Togekiss versus Gyarados. All right, so if this is Dragon Breath, it's really good. And they decide to swap anyways to Snorlax. So we have a hard answer for that with Kinkelder. So we're just going to go ahead and load up on Energy. Body Slam coming through. You don't need to shield this first one. Um, the whole point of Kinkelder is to make sure you take Switch Advantage or take shield and switch advantage. So we're just gonna go ahead, overload a bit, go for dynamic punch right here. I could have gone, I think, for a little bit more energy than thrown, but we take switch advantage back, which is fine with me. I can keep Swampert away from the Gyarados, which is gonna be tough to take. And I have enough HP left, and it is in fact Dragon Breath Gyarados, like I mentioned at the beginning, to throw the Stone Edge here to get myself sh shield and switch advantage, which is huge. So we do get the shield right there. This is why Kinkelder is honestly one of the best, most flexible Pokemon you can have on your team. Team. So we're going to go ahead and come in with the Togekiss now. We're going to no shield this right here as it's likely just going to be Aqua Tails, which doesn't do too much damage. Now, we need to pay attention to what our opponent is doing. They're not switching out. This is a tell that whatever's in the back might be extremely weak to Togekiss. So we need to be careful that it might actually be a Dragon, um, maybe a, a, a Dragon Knight, or maybe a Garchomp or Haxorus. So we're going to go ahead and give up a shield here and look to farm down. We did have to give up one shield, but that's fine. We farm down. It is, in fact, a Garchomp in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Ancient Power. This is resisted, but I'm fishing for the boost here. That's what I would really love in this matchup. And we don't get the boost. Now, this is a Dragon Tail Garchomp as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and I believe I decide to shield. Yeah, I decide to shield. It is Sand Tomb. I'm going to go ahead and swap out to clear the debuff and come in with Swampert right here. And throw a hydro cannon. This is likely gonna be shielded here by hacks or um, by uh, Garchomp, I should say. And it is. So this is gonna be a race to the next charge move. They're obviously trying to get to the earth power, but Swampert is so clutch when it comes to spamming its charge moves that we're able to take it right there. We still had Togekiss alive, so I could have done one charm to both um, Garchomp and Gyarados to take that one, but either way, good game, very well played. Okay, moving into the next one. We have Florigus on the lead here. So this is actually pretty interesting for us. Charms obviously doing a great job here. I need to be concerned about the potential like double Moonblast as Moonblast does quite a bit of neutral damage in the matchup. As you guys are going to see right here, this Florigus decides to go for Moonblast. That's a respectable amount. Now they do swap into Gyarados. So I don't actually have a strong answer for Gyarados here other than Ancient Power, Charm, Stone Edge. And we get it relatively low here. So I'm going to go ahead and swap now to catch the charge move on Swampert, making sure I maintain um, Toekiss in the back there. 
with a decent amount of health and now Gyarados is within range for a Hydro Cannon. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it. I think it, it does go down. It may, it may not. Yeah, it barely, it barely survives right there, which is fine. This is actually a bit more ideal because what you guys are going to see is that Aqua Tail is not going to be enough to take me out. Dragon Breath is going to get me extremely low, but I fully farm down. So I have a Hydro Cannon ready to go for Florgus. Florgus looks like a grass Pokemon, but it's actually pure um, fairy right here. So it will do this Hydro Cannon will do neutral damage. And then they only get two Vine Whips worth of energy. That's pretty huge for me. So we're going to go ahead and come in with Togekiss now. And they swap into Excadrill. So we're bringing in the Kinkelder. And that's that's a wrap. We're going to go ahead and just give up shields right here. Kinkelder can close this game out for me. They decide to go for Rock Slide. Which I thought was interesting. Rock Slide and Drill Run are the same energy. So I'm not sure why they decided to go for that. Unless they don't have Drill Run. Um, but they actually do right here. They show it on this one. So that's okay. They they do go down and we're just going to go ahead and come. I should just be countering down in all honesty. Um, but I decided to go for dynamic punch here to get a shield. But at the end of the day, I just I just countered down. Yeah, that's going to be a good battle. Very well played right there. So kind of a funny little dance that we saw um, with having to take down Gyarados by utilizing the charm and ancient power and then swapping into Swampert to catch the charge move. And it worked out for us. So really good battles to my opponents. As you guys can see, this team's pretty strong in all accessible Pokemon. If you guys don't have Kinkelder, use Machamp Rock Slide, right? Or you can give it Legacy Stone Edge, I think. Shadows as well work. Just throw that in there. But overall, really strong team. Really fun team to use against the meta that we do see in Master League Premier Cup Classic. So like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.